Martin Chow. Hello. We're off to the wizard's house. The wonderful wizard of Oz. We're going to Win Win's area. Oh, there's no traffic. Crazy. Traffic's very light. He is in a hurry to get to the red light. Fire off some text, maybe. You know, beautiful weather out today. Sunny. First time it's been sunny in a couple weeks. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going for a nice little 30-minute ride to a coffee house. So I figured I'd take you with me, YouTube. Back more. Winnie crushes my balls. It's the worst thing about this bike. This bike is terrible for two people. I hate it when the passenger is on the back. It just crushes your ball. It is the ball crusher. Without a person on it? Nope. If uh, you're by yourself though, no crushing of the ball. See, no ball crush solo. Subway's coming along fast as shit now. Maybe an entrance or something? I don't know what they're doing. Could be. The beginnings of an entrance. Can't wait for the subway. Totally will modernize. Saigon overnight. Pull my mask down. I don't see how you can catch COVID on a bike. I mean, anything's possible. But... So how is everybody? We're still not in lockdown. Still everything's good here. Um, you know, things are still open. It's just bars and discos that are closed still. So, so people are taking it serious so everyone has a mask on. Temperature checks again anywhere. Uh, 30 people at a time in stores, hand sanitation, all that good stuff is happening again. Why they got lax on it to begin with is kind of weird to me. They should have just kept on with all that stuff. Looks like Da Nang is just still the outbreak city. Uh, I think there's only like four cases in Ho Chi Minh still. So hopefully we'll stay all right and we can get back to normal. Man, I just posted the, the tourism impact video and the devastation to the, the tourist sector is insane. It's so hardly hit. I mean, these places are all gonna close now. They've, a lot of them made it through that first wave. Not a lot, I'd say. 65% and now this second wave it's it's a doozy we needed tourism back here for all these uh, touristy things you know lots of restaurants are gonna go under lots of things are gonna go under that's for sure which is a shame man I keep getting these uh, 5g fake COVID people posting on my shit. It's, it's pretty funny. I asked them all if the earth is flat too. Oh, Big Mama doesn't give a shit. <laughs> She's like, I'm going. Fuck you. What the fuck, Mercedes? Fuck you, dickhead. Nice. They're just like, so the Mercedes drivers are just like Mercedes drivers in LA. They feel superior because they drive a Mercedes. So it's doubly worse as car drivers already feel vastly superior to motorbikes here. Um, so it just doubles upon that even more when they drive a fancy car. It's like you're a peasant. There's an expat driving very fast. He's normalized to the roads of driving like a dick. Guaranteed you he's been in a motorcycle accident or two. Because as we've gone over before, when you drive fast, you have zero time to make any kind of adjustments if something happens. 
And it cracks me up when people try to tell me, mainly Vietnamese, that the traffic works well here. You are insane, dude. There is a traffic accident in Saigon every seven seconds on motorbike. And there's a death like three or four every day. Some crazy, ridiculous number. So your little system doesn't work. Yes, it may work to get through places fast, but it's not that safe. The reason why I don't get in motorbike accidents here is because I drive slow. Every other expat I've talked to that's lived here longer than a year has all been in a motorbike accident of some sort. So, sure, I may get in one that totally won't be my fault, and it's possible, but for the most part, I drive like an old lady, so nothing's gonna happen. All right, enough of that. We've gone over that little rant. Um, but yeah, so many places are closing, it sucks. You can see all the boarded up places, you know. And as I talked about in the tourism impact video, you know, these places have to adjust their prices. Like, I bought Indian food at that Indian place, and the butter chicken used to be 100K there. The guy went up in price to try made no sense. I tried to explain to him off camera. I'm like, you're, you're going the opposite direction. I'm like, you need to take a loss and just get money coming through. Like, whatever. Take a big loss, but at least you're selling the produce you bought and getting bills paid. It doesn't matter. As long as you got money coming in. If you try to get greedy and up the price to compensate, that's just not going to work. Bucks cheaper. 
And I don't know why the guy doesn't want to just go down to like, I would pay like 900 a month now, because it's still a nice unit, but they're trying to get the thousand. Even though I get it, he's probably got a mortgage on it and shit. No one's gonna rent it for a thousand if I left. No one. It'll just remain vacant for who knows how long. But it's a weird mindset for him to be so strict on the, all these guys decided to just run the light all as a team. Because you know the infinite hurry that exists in Saigon. So Go Jack is a new, that's a new, what is Go Jack off of? Huh? Hey, boy. Hello. Are you listening? Wow, Winnie is. <laughs> Never mind. But Go Jack's an offspring of some other, I can't remember. Huh? Go Vin. What? Go Vin. Go Vin. Go Vin. Go Viet. Yeah, Go Viet changed to Go Jack. Oh, it's a windy one. Looks like it's gonna rain too, boys and ladies. But yeah, I mean, I could rent an apartment, same apartment I have, you know, same top of floors. The, the Vin Homes is empty now. I mean, it's nobody's gonna want to pay the high rent when they're like, you know. Most people, if they still have a job here in Saigon, have taken a salary reduction by like 20 to 30 percent. Lots have just lost their jobs. So I mean, the time for luxury apartments is not good for the, the landlord. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Had earphones in? What the shit? Nice. It's a sensible driver. See, the problem with Saigon and why you don't want to drive fast like most idiots, you know, a dog could run out. Dogs run, walk around wild here. You know, a guy in our MT, in my MT15 group, he got fucking really hurt. <coughs> a while back. Oh. He got really hurt though a while back. Um, he was going like 50, 50, 60 kilometers and a dog ran out in front of him and he tried to swerve. Still hit the dog, killed the dog. Fucking totaled his bike. Broke his arm. Road rash all the way up the side of his leg. So I mean... For the cost of me being two minutes slower than that guy's arrival to each of our destinations, I'll go two minutes slower. I, I don't know if you've ever been in a motorcycle accident, and it sucks. So, I've been in many. I don't plan to be in it many more. So you just have more control when you go slower. It's really a basic principle and idea. Twenty seconds, all right. Bird shit on me or something. Just cleaning it off. These things happen. All right, where were we? What were we talking about? Uh, we're on the way to get coffee. shop there. Yep. It's definitely about to rain. The winds are picking up. The cool turbulent air is kicking in. 100% going to rain. 
So I'm glad that we filmed this part of the streets of Saigon. I know we've seen this before, but you know, whoa, whoa. she got heavy backfire. That, that, that girl needs a tune-up. She needs a new spark plug. <laughs> and that's a newer bike, too. That thing ain't that beat. It just needs tender loving care. Oh, here? Right here? How small is it? It's not even open, it's closed. Well, once that water park's open, I'll go there. And I'll ride it. A, a really good thing that, you know, Vietnam can do is, especially in Saigon, inside of Saigon, is a better theme park. Like, get a hold of that old theme park, somebody buy it, get rid of all the shitty rides there, have someone like Six Flags come in as an investor, and build a proper... Oh, okay. Not right. That's not right. Don't curse us. Of ex or a, a guy driving fast on his BMW. I'm gonna see if it really rains. I have a. <coughs> My throat is raw dog from talking. What? You never go faster. You never go faster when it rains freshly because the rain mixes with the oil fresh on the ground. It's the most dr dangerous driving conditions that are ever produced. Except like a black ice. I have the rain jacket. I have a rain jacket. Because I'm not Vietnamese. Yeah, like I was saying, they should get someone to uh, invest in like a theme park. Oh, it's raining. Let me get the, the thing out and turn the camera on. All right, guys. All right, we're back after the torrential downpour. So let's get moving to the coffee shop. Unexpected rain out of nowhere. Now it's perfect yellow skies. Winnie's what we call a backseat driver. I know my Americans know what that means. So when it rains like this, I drive very slow now. I go from old man driving to like near death old man driving now. And we're in deep in Winnie's district. They don't follow any traffic rules here whatsoever. They drive however the fuck they want. There's no cops around here, so like, most people don't stop at any stoplights or anything like that. Watch, I almost guarantee you all these people will just go through this light. And correct, see? Not one person stopped. So it would be more unsafe for me to stop for that red light because no one else is stopping. Pretty Oh, everyone's going the wrong way. It's like, you know, didn't we see a movie right around here? Yeah. Yeah. That's where me and Wynn had our first, uh, our first movie date. Correct. Crazy. That was just like straight Florida rain. Identical to like Florida rain. Hardcore rain for five minutes and then sunny skies again. Maybe at least we can finish the moto vlog here. You're already going, like, old man. And then take a right. And then a left. Then a right. Oh, I really hate your bike when the rain is coming. The nursing water come over my head. 
That sucks. Oh, it's not. So it's not supposed to. We have the fender. We have the water fender. Maybe it just needs adjusted. I'll take a look at it. I mean, it just sucks when there's rain in general. Like you get all wet. My feet are all wet. I have like a pair of shoes dedicated for water riding now. My gloves smell like fucking a jock strap that's never been washed. Because once they, this leather gets wet, it's tough to clean it. Here or the next one? Okay. Normally there's way more people out though. This park is usually packed. I mean, it just ran. Oh, they've marked off this this part too. Here? Oh, Next yeah. one. Nice. I remember. And then we take a right. No hurry. Slow and steady wins the race. Fast and careless gets the accident. Seven Wonders. I've yet to go to Seven Wonders. That's for little kids, right? No. This one uh, food is healthy, but uh, the food, I think some food is really good. Oh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 Come on. Come on, G. <laughs> Don't. Usually there's flowers for sale. Aren't there usually flowers for sale here? Uh, only for Ted. Take a right, correct? And then it's on the left. Mega Market? Well, is it open? Is it open? Let's go there after. battery down. I lost the battery. I didn't lose it. One of the Sony batteries went bad, so, which sucks. So now I have to charge the camera while I coffee. It's a pretty good streets of Saigon. This one right here, right? Nothing like passing on the inside. Oh, your brother bought his bike. <laughs> Use a white. Say hi to the family and then we'll cut the, the stream. There's your brother's bike. This one here, this R3. Ciao. Hello. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next. She did what you do. Không có thấy được gì luôn. Không biết là nó đang quay có chụp hình được không? À, đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Tại sao anh lại phải làm như vậy vậy? Trong cái chạy ngoài đường á, trong cái gió, trong cái tiếng gió. Cái chỗ này dễ hả? Tắt đâu vậy? 